I'm Priyanka Evangeli, your internet speech language pathologist and today I'm going to tell you the first activity that you can use to teach your child theory of mind. So this is a very simple basic skill which is called social smile or something we also call as a reciprocal smile. So what do we do in reciprocal smile? It means that when you look at a person and smile, they immediately smile back even if it is, even it is a stranger, right? So this is a social skill because we are social creatures and we are we tend to imitate what people show to us. So social skill and social smiling is a skill that you're going to teach. And I'm going to give you three tips on how to do this. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is within the context of your home. What you're going to do is throughout the day, whenever your child is happy, you just ask them to look here, smile, that's it. So you're going to just, whenever your child is happy, playing, happy jumping or happy walking around and just call them by name. Hi Sai, look here, smile and you know, make sure they smile reciprocally to you too. And you know, do this very often throughout the day. The second way is to go stand in front of the mirror and do an imitative smile. So stand in front of the mirror and say, maybe you can sing a song. If you're happy and you know it, show me teeth. If you're happy and you know it, give me a smile. Like that. So you just stand with your child. You and your child stand together in front of the mirror. And just make sure you're imitating each other's smile. So make this a habit. A third way is just to go on Google and just type girl smiling or child smiling, boy smiling. And find out some pictures like so. And then you talk about the picture. Girl is smiling. Um, Sai smile, mommy smile, daddy smile and so you just teach um, and generalize the concept of smiling. So I smile, my mother smiles, also other people smile. So with, through the pictures you teach the child this girl is smiling or this boy is smiling, uh, daddy is smiling, papa is smiling, that grandma is smiling. So you just uh, repeat the practice of smiling on different people and then once you've done all these three steps then is when you encourage your child to smile at known people or people they like. For example, if your child likes their teacher and now online classes are going on. And once you've completed all the three steps and when you're in online class, sitting in online class and teacher says good morning, ask your teacher, oh you like teacher, what do you do? You smile. Say hi teacher and smile. So you remind them like that. As well, for example, if your child likes your maid who comes home. So again, See, auntie is coming. I say hi, auntie. Smile. And you know, make them also um, cooperate and repeat with the child. So, this way, you just first do it with yourself, then do it with other family members, then do it with other members who your child likes. Don't immediately ask your child to smile at a stranger because that's just weird. So, you just first build it with your child, with your family members, people they like. And to strangers, let them explore that option for themselves. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video, the second theory of mind related activity. Till then, bye.